Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and today I am going to start a new video tutorial series on PHP where I will show you how to develop an advanced filter kind of functionality. Okay, here you can see here I have taken a drop box and few text boxes on the left side and on the right side you will see some details okay and these are the details of customers okay just for the sake of example i have taken these details okay so now the purpose of this advanced filter is i want to filter i want to search the records based on various dates like whenever i click on this drop down you can see there are different options like if i want to view the details of last seven days if i want to see the sales of last 28 days last 90 days last 365 days sales okay and if i want to view the details of lifetime sales okay and if i want to view the details of this year and last year sales and i can also view the details of this month and last month okay so now the in this complete tutorial series uh, i'm going to discuss about how you can filter the records from your uh, mysql database based on dates okay so now uh, so first let me just show you uh, adding an item okay so now i will click on this add item okay and i will write a name okay customer mobile i will just enter some dummy numbers okay then item purchased okay item purchase like desktop okay and price paid let's say thirty thousand okay and date okay and i will select date 24th of may 2020 okay so now i will click on this add item okay so now when i click on add item it has given me a message as item added successfully okay so now if i want to view that item then i have to click on that view details button then at the end you will see this is the item which i have saved just few seconds back okay so the name is swati agarwal and the mobile number and the item which uh, uh, which she has purchased okay and the price and the date okay so now so this is about how we can add an item okay so now if i want to view the details of only this month okay so last seven days okay now if, if i want to view the details of this month only then i have to select this month sales and when i click on submit then you will see there are two records with this month sales okay uh, and as you can see here may 2020 okay and uh, if i select last month option and when i click on submit then you will see there are total five records okay that means in last month five orders were made okay and if i want to view the last seven day sales you will see only one record is there okay and if i want to view last 28 day sales then you will see there are only two records okay and if i want to view the details of last 90 day sales okay and then you will see there are these many records okay so these many sales were made in the last 90 days okay and last 365 days see this many sales are there okay and if i choose lifetime sales then it will display all the records okay and similarly if i want to view the sales which have been made only in this year then i'll select this year sales then you will see data gets changed okay and last year sales see again data gets changed there are only three records and this month sales and last month sales okay so like this we can view the details 
based on dates we can filter the records based on dates okay so it's um, and we have further more option like custom sales okay if i want to view the details okay like from february from first february to may may 30 okay so now i want to get i want to see how many orders were made uh, from 1st february to 31st may okay so i have set it out those dates and now i want to view the details so i will click on submit then you will see these are the records okay from second which is from second month which is february from february to fifth okay and if i want to view the details from uh, not february i will select march now okay from first march to february 28 okay so now I, uh, okay so now i am going to view the details of from month march to may as you can see here the data gets changed okay so this is these are the functionalities which uh, i have i have taken in this complete tutorial series okay and which i'm going to uh, tell you and i'm going to discuss in this complete tutorial series okay so filtering the records based on various parameters like various based on various dates and based on custom dates okay so this kind of functionality can be very very useful in many medium scale and large scale applications okay so i am i'm going to use core php and mysql database for developing this kind of advanced filter application okay so now let me just show you the database as well okay so here i have created a database with a name as advanced filter and in that i have created a filter and these are the fields okay so i have just enter some dummy data with the help of this add item form okay so now okay so this is every uh, this is the entire application which i'm going to discuss in this complete tutorial series of developing an advanced filter application using core php okay and this is the introduction video of this series and from the next video i will start developing this application okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching